Hi, Hi, how are you doing? Nice come, to meet come. you. Please. Like I said, I wish you all the very best and may the best person win. But uh, sincerely, I'm actually looking forward to this because it's, it's always encouraging to get interesting ideas, you know, from entrepreneurs such as yourself. Welcome back. Today I'm with a gentleman who I've known for over 20 years, Mr. Neeraj Roy, CEO and MD of Hangama.com. Under Neeraj's able leadership, Hangama has become Asia's biggest mobile and internet entertainment company. So, Neeraj, welcome back on the show. I know something about you, uh, but the viewers don't, and I'm going to share that with you. 20 years ago, when I met Neeraj, he was with the Taj Group of Hotels, the Tata Group, and he was marketing manager of, what, 42 properties? Then he quit and he got into investment banking, prime securities. Then he quit that and I think it was creating a project plan for a menthol plant. And the next thing you know is Neeraj Roy is a, is a new startup that he's heading and it's a digital media startup and it's called Hangama.com. How on earth did you make that change? And let me also ask you, did you feel that the experience gained in uh, the other three uh, jobs prior to this helped you? In uh, 99 on sort of uh all Fool's Day that we founded Hangama. The first eight, nine months of Hangama was like a complete sort of, you know, poster boy kind of dream of sorts because everything was euphoric. We had entered maybe just six, seven months before the whole dot-com bust happened. So, you know, everything seemed very hunky-dory. And then for the next four years, it is what I've always described as our ostrich years. We had to pretty much just hang in there, you know, put our hand, feet, everything uh, sort of uh, to the ground. And I think a lot of the experiences of the previous nine, 10 years helped in that matter. Thanks Neeraj, now that I've got the answer to my question. Contestants, um, any questions for Mr. Roy? We are seeing that economies are crashing in US and Europe, we are possibly getting into a next recession. So is, is there any some key learnings that you can share with us to help us get through this kind of uh, low period? My only thing to any entrepreneur really is to stay focused on what you are trying to do you know, unite and, and get across the customers who relate with that. Even in times which are bad, communicate even more with them because, you know, they'll remember you a lot more, you know, when the sort of uptick happens in this entire thing. And give them the sense and comfort that, you know, uh, you don't need to take a decision right away on this, but stay engaged with them. Okay, that's the end, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, of questions and answers and all the fun and games because now we get to what I call, Neeraj, the business end of the show. So you want to take them through the task that you devised for them on this episode? Actually, today's uh, entire task will be divided into two separate teams of two of you each. So, you know, what we are really looking at as Hangama.com, which was a service which was started some time back, is today, you know, uh, the premier mobile digital entertainment sort of marketplace. And what we are looking at doing here is, on this we started off with music, videos, games, applications and we would look to do many more services in this area. The advantages that we have is there is a large variety of content that's available. Uh, we have access to celebrities, we have access into brands, but most importantly, there is a digital distribution network which spans about 47 countries and will probably go to about 60 countries in the next six, nine months that we already have in place. So your task is to consider the above mentioned opportunity, space that uh, Hangama is in right now, and do a SWOT analysis for Hangama.com, you know, and its entire business. And we will essentially judge you on the parameters and the basis of marketing innovation that you come up with to gain high consumer acceptance and position Hangama as the one-stop destination for all forms of digital content as such. We'd also be looking at how you suggest, you know, innovative promotion ideas to increase consumer penetration and usage of that service into a habit-forming medium. And finally, suggest a strategy to increase distribution. You know, we've been, we're obviously available on the phone, we're available online. What more can be done to acquire customers uh, across different devices as well? So that's really what we are going to be judging you on. And like always, there's going to be a twist, but for that, I will turn to Rahul to continue with it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now for the twist in the tale. We want you to marry your business idea to the digital platform via Hangama as a value-added service. It should be mutually beneficial to both companies. You will find more details on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. All right, good luck. 
for the presentation, each team will get six minutes to make it, and then two minutes for the twist. After which, Neeraj will ask each team questions. You have 60 seconds to answer both questions, a maximum of 30 seconds per answer. Now for your actual preparation. There will be one professional from Hangama.com who will brief all of you for the first 60 minutes. Total time, two hours. The second 60 minutes, you will spend inevitably on preparing your presentation. After two hours, as you all know, a buzzer will go off. You will come back here and reassemble in the presentation zone. Good luck. And now for the creation of the teams. As you might remember, last week, Tony was the person who enjoyed immunity. He got the immunity badge. For now, you're going to have to make two teams, one pair each. Tony chose Sriram and Priyanka as Team A members and Rajiv and Aparna as Team B members. And now, dearest Tony, there's a twist in the twist. In this episode, Tony also plays an important role of judging both the teams on the basis of their presentations and also points out the weaker individual out of the two teams and conducts a mini SWOT analysis of the weakest individual's presentation. Right, so the teams are formed. Each one of you knows exactly what role you have to perform, including you, Tony. Time to head to the preparation zone. Good luck and see you in two hours. So, another interesting challenge in what I believe is one of the most dynamic fields today. While it's true that the evolution of digital media has led to an immense amount of democratization, there are still challenges the industry faces. How our contestants will ingest, analyze and create presentations in the next 120 minutes is something we're going to see. We'll take a short break here. When we come back, let's get into that pressure cooker preparation zone and also chat with Neeraj. So my inspiration as an entrepreneur has been my dad. I think I always had a sense of passion and that's something that I have sort of, you know, tried to extend. But a good entrepreneur is also one with sort of great, tremendous amount of leadership qualities. I believe focus uh, on what you try and do always helps. And now for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 750 contest. What is the pixel density of Samsung Galaxy Tab 750? A, 132 pixel per inch. B, 149 pixel per inch. C, 169 pixel per inch. To send in your answers, type pitch, space, question number, space, A, B or C at 5995. Or email us at the pitch at BloombergUTV.com. One lucky winner who can answer the maximum number of correct answers gets to win a Samsung Galaxy Tab 750 at the end of the series.